Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. My name is Ashley and today's video we're going to be looking at how to create and use a filter within your directory of Club V1. Okay, so I'm logged into my Club V1 account and as you can see on the dashboard, we've got various options along the top. So in order to create the filter, we need to go into the people option, which will then give us an option for directory. So if we select the directory, as you can see now, this is where all of our member details are stored. Um, and as you can see on the left, I've now got 96 people in my database under the current filter, um, a mixture of both female and male members. So in order to create a filter, the next step would be selecting the triangle button in the square, um, and this will show and hide all of the current filters. Okay, so you can see on the column now on the left, we've got um, a saved filters drop down. So any filters that we do save, we can then use this drop down to reapply in the future. So in order to create a new filter, we now need to populate the fields with the relevant information and then apply. So for example, today I want to run a filter um, to tell me which members pay by direct debit. Um, so the first thing I need to do is click the add another filter button. And if we scroll down to direct debit enabled and then add that to the filter. So you can see now on the left, it's given me an option for DD enabled, yes or no. So if we untick no and we apply this filter, you can see the database has gone from uh, 96 people down to three. So these three members um, are paying by direct debit this year. So if I want to run that again in the future, we can now save that filter and we're going to call that direct debit payers and save that in an empty slot. So if we save this, you can now see we've got the direct debit payers as a saved filter for the future. So if we run another filter, so all members and apply, that's gone to 96 for the future. If we drop that down, you can see that's gone back to three people. Okay, just to note on that one, um, each filter will bring through the latest information that's held on your database. So for example, in the next month, if I added five new members to the database um, and two were paying by direct debit, if I was to run this filter again, those extra two people would be applied to that filter and show in the list. So I hope you found that video useful today and now you can create, save and apply filters within your directory in the future. If you do require any further assistance, please contact our support team via live chat or via phone. 